If I'm to ask you, what is it about you that makes you different, and you can't answer the question, how's a patient supposed to know to choose you as opposed to somebody like you? How are they supposed to know? My family. Oh, we're a family. That's cute. <laughs> I'm going to be a pain in the butt here on purpose. So what that you're a family? So we take care of our patients like family. So you take care of your patients like family. Does anybody else say that? Ah, but the trouble is, until they've experienced you, they don't get to know that you actually do it. And the fact that everybody else says it's the same means that at the point before me making my mind up, you're all the same. What if we pivot the language? What if instead of us saying we are a family, we say that one of the biggest reasons that patients continually choose us is because of the fact that they say that once they become a patient here, that they feel that they are treated like family. It's exactly the same, isn't it? But we've said the same thing in a different way because we've moved it for the benefit of the patient. See the difference? I wonder what would happen if you'd take the time to look at everything you say about yourself and rephrase what you say about yourself for the benefit of the person that you've already predetermined is the person that you'd like to help so they see it. I bet if I read most of your marketing literature, the person that appreciates that literature the most is you.